You're listening to the 22nd Peep Show mini episode of Bare Naked Bravery. My name is Emily Ann Peterson, and if you are new to Bare Naked Bravery, welcome. Peep shows are a tiny little peek behind the curtain of the kind of bravery that I am personally experiencing on a weekly basis. So these come, episodes come out on every Friday. Um, I enjoy doing them. They end up being a little bit of a ramble. I usually have like some sort of theme that I'm going off of, um, but I find that good things come out of it. So today we're talking about magic and gaining a really clear vision for what you're going forward with. Um, we're talking about this because as you are listening to this, I am driving across, if you're listening to this on Friday when it when this episode gets published, um, I am driving across probably Wyoming um, to get my way to, to finish the rest of the drive all the way to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, my Atlanta, Georgia creative sabbatical wrapped up and I am really... I'm feeling really good about how it my time there was spent. I mean, I didn't I didn't work on the creative projects that I thought I was going to work on. This always happens with sabbaticals with me as I take the time off thinking, yeah, I'm going to get XYZ done and I actually end up getting ABC done. <laughs> um, but that being said, I, you know, like one of the themes for this year, every year I try to pick a theme and the theme that I picked for this year is magic which hear me out, um, not necessarily like doing magic tricks, but the what I really wanted to instill this year was the awareness of my own personal awareness of all of the tiny little details that I don't necessarily feel like I have control over, but how they all work together. Um, and I've just noticed this year that things kind of fall into place. I started noticing it a little bit before January, but um, before I picked my theme, but because I was a little bit aware of it, I was like, gosh, you know, I think, I think this might be happening more often than I think it is. And it really, it, it's true. Some of this is like completely unexplainable, um, like thinking about responding to someone via email and then having them call me directly, like maybe an hour later, which is amazing. Um, it that kind of stuff happens a lot and I don't I can't explain it but it but it there it is it's there um so this this sabbatical really had a big um I think it all kind of came to a closure at the, about the same time that I was invited to move back to Washington and move into this gorgeous little place on Orcas Island on in August so when I got the invitation, I had just kind of come to this like full circle pivot moment of, oh my gosh, my business needs some work and it needs some minimization, not necessarily like hacking off some things, but I just came to some really awesome clarity about where my own career has been going and how it's been kind of nebulous for the past couple years. And I'm really excited to put it in a specific direction. <laughs> um, I don't know what that direction is, but I'm really excited about it going in that direction wherever it ends up going. Um, I've got some things in place that'll help me decide that and help that next level of clarity come to fruition. But all that to say this week, what I'm experiencing and what I experience oftentimes when I'm on these big long road trips, because I go on them a lot for house concerts and traveling around and doing all that kind of stuff. Airplanes do the same thing for me too. I get this sense of like unplugging from the world and there's this really wonderful, beautiful clarity, uh, words coming up a lot today, wonderful clarity that comes from seeing big horizons or driving around really big mountains or um, being in the midst of a really big sky. That is so empowering to me and it's so clarifying to me to see 
how small I am and how big the world is. Um, but I'd also, you know, it, it provides me this like release of the friction that I end up collecting when I'm feeling stagnant or when I'm feeling still or like I'm attached to one specific place. So getting out there and traveling is really good for me and good for my soul. Um, I am so excited to embrace this new opportunity to live on Orcas Island and to focus on a specific really um, niche area of my business and career and I'm and creativity too. I'm really excited to move forward in this new opportunity and allow the magic of transformation to actually happen in my career. So um, that's what's happening this week. I encourage you, like my favorite ways to spend road trips or to get some of this clarity is to listen to other people who inspire me. I mean, I know that kind of is an obvious thing, um, or at least it is, at least it is to me, but I, I think that if you surround yourself by people who really truly inspire you, you're going to, that stuff's going to come off, you know, in os via osmosis, whether you like it or not. So, um, and those people who inspire you don't have to be near you geographically. They don't have to be your friends. They don't have to be um, people who you personally know. They can be random people from the internet who have really awesome podcasts. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about some other people. I really love um, Jess Lively's podcast. I really love the Fizzle Show podcast. I really love, there's so many. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And they all have like different unique twists on their own perspective of things. So I just love soaking those things up. It gives me a lot of really beautiful, um, really beautiful perspectives. Oh, one of the other podcasts that I've been digging lately, um, just because I've been minimizing all of my belongings for this move and then also in my business as well um the minimalist podcast i've been digging on them lately so that those are some things that i end up doing i also have an awesome playlist that i end up collecting for every road trip um the last road trip i did i started an anthem um anthems of bravery pod uh playlist which is on my spotify you can go listen to it if you want um just Emily Ann Peterson on Spotify, if you're a Spotify user. Um, it'd be super cool. If you have suggestions for that playlist, I'd be I'd be more than welcome to add them to the list too. So um, yeah, I, I make playlists. I actually end up calling some people and asking their advice too. Um, just having that really long block of time to think and see how you fit into the world it really really helps so if you need that if you need that little bit of perspective i encourage you to like go on a trip rent an airbnb and that's like four hours away and drive there and then drive back and take just spend a night out there and do it it feels it it really helps a lot so um if you are not a member of our Facebook community, it's super awesome. We have some really fun things coming up because the one year anniversary of this podcast is coming soon. And I'm we're gonna do like a website redesign and um, have a big party and another bravery challenge as well. So if you want to join the group and join the challenge, um, you can visit barenakedbravery.com forward slash challenge to sign up for the challenge. And I'm really looking forward to all of that. So I will see you. I will see you next week because, um, by that point I'll be in Seattle and we'll be back in the Northwest near the water and all the glistening golden sun, sun trees and everything. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. Um, I will see you next week. Have a really great weekend. Uh, be brave, you guys. We really need your bravery.